So today we're going to learn how to replace a rack mount UPS battery on the cheap. So as you can see, we've got a replace battery light on the Smart UPS 2200XL. Looking online, the replacement module runs anywhere between 500 to 600 bucks. I do basic home labbing and we're going to see how we can replace the batteries for maybe about a hundred bucks. Uh, stick around and find out if it's successful. Taking off the faceplate, we come across the battery hook up here. Got a couple of screws here and here that need to be removed. Also here. Um, I know that when I unplug it, it'll run off a battery even though it says replace battery. One of the main reasons why I'm replacing it is because it has a very, very annoying beep throughout the day. But before I go ahead and do that, I'm going to hook this up to my Delta Pro because although it says that you can replace the battery while it's alive, when I take it out, the last thing I want is to have some kind of power outage and the kids and the wife scream that the Wi-Fi is out. So I'm going to go with the Delta Pro. I do have the Delta Mini. But the last time I checked, my power usage is a little over a thousand watts. So I don't want to stress the Delta Mini too much. So we're going to bring out the big Delta Pro that can do 3600 watts, which should be more than enough and plenty of power to run this rack. Let's go ahead and unplug the power. As you can see, it still works. Not sure for how long the batteries are going to last, but let's plug it into the Delta Pro. Okay, so as you see, it says that it does, or well, it's pulling about 1100 watts. Appears to be happy for now. So let's get started on replacing the battery. So the first thing we want to do is undo the power. like so. Put that off to the side. Unscrew two regular Phillips screws that holds it in place. Should be as easy as just pulling the tray out. So we should just be able to pull the tray out, get some leverage. As you can see, the unit's still running. Got roughly three hours left on the Delta Pro. Two to three. Now you may be asking, how am I going to replace this for cheap? 
Uh, there should be individual packs inside of here that I can just replace what's inside the actual housing. Put it back in and we should be good. I ordered some batteries online. Um, I'll put links in the description below. So looking at the case, there's a couple screws on the side, appears to be one up top, and a couple more screws on the other side that need to be removed. So taking off the top, as you can see, standard lead acid APC batteries. A total of one, two, three, four, eight batteries. And the kit that I bought. Four batteries in this pack, four batteries in this pack. I'm not a fan of all the styrofoam that came on there, but I'll clean that up before putting it in the actual case. Okay, these are new batteries lined up next to the old ones. I did receive one that had some corrosion on it. Tested it, the voltage is still good. So I'm just going to put it in the pack and hopefully everything goes well. Okay, so what I like to do with any sort of replacement is I take a picture first to make sure I connect everything the way they're supposed to be. Looks pretty straightforward. Got spacers in between. And then your leads, main positive, main negative. Got a couple fuses in between. So I'm going to pop them out one by one and then put the new one in. Main positive, main negative. Just to know that I did test all the batteries, um, save charge is roughly the same between all of them so I don't see it being a problem when connecting them all. So 
So with the leads taken off, it's time to just connect the new pack. As you can see, with all the batteries removed, these are the old ones. Some of them did feel a little bit swollen, so I'll probably dispose of those, and whichever of the pack is still good, I'll charge them up and use them for some other projects. Spacer back down. Now let's connect the wires the way they were before. So you gotta love when your camera dies in the middle of filming. So I'm just gonna continue from where we are here. The new packs are installed. Just gotta connect them back up. I'm gonna follow the picture that I took earlier with my camera. And it should be just a matter of connecting all the wires, screwing back on the top, popping it back in, and having it charge, and hope for the best. negative, main positive, taking a look at the Delta Pro, I'm at 85%, about two hours left, a little over 800 watts being used. Double check and make sure everything's on secure. This. Not back on.
clips back in place. Now to just put back in the screws. And the entire pack screwed together. Now to put it right back into the unit. Okay, just gonna slide it in. Screw in the last two screws that were taken out in the very beginning. Last step is to plug back in the power into the battery. It is plugged back in. It does show a charge. I had to guess the reason why the replaced battery light's still on is because the voltage on them is kind of low. As you can see, the packs are not fully charged. So what I'll do is I'll wait for the unit to fully charge up. Hopefully I don't have to cycle the unit. And see if the red light goes away. So what I learned is if you hit the self-test button, says in the manual, yes, I looked in the manual, that as long as the battery is at around 70%, if you run a self-test, the red replace battery light will disappear, which it did. If you're wondering how to run a self-test, the top button right here, you hold that down for about three seconds, changes the load from AC to battery. 
and when it's done, light disappears. So how much did this whole thing cost? Looking online, I wanted a replacement pack, which was anywhere I saw from 500 to 800 bucks, which is ridiculous. Replacing and just swapping out the batteries were roughly around 100 bucks. It all works. Now I just need to see how long it'll work for. Like I said, links to the battery will be down in the description. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until the next one.